If this is where the Democratic Party is in 2020, I will not vote for Joe Biden. And if we don't start putting Americans first, the Democratic Party will lose more moderates like me. That is Indian American director Namrata Singh Gujral. Well, in a clip from her latest film, America's Forgotten, a documentary that happens to have an anti-illegal immigration message. And in these politically strident times, apparently what she included here is enough to be censored, she says, by Facebook and Amazon. So we're joined now by Namrata to talk about the film and the backlash to it. Um, Namrata, great to have you with us. I know that um, we talked a little bit during the commercial about how this film started. You wanted to take an honest look at illegal immigration and the whole process. Uh, and found some stories that were absolutely heartbreaking and found that in this, it, it seemed like you involved from your, you know, wholehearted support of the Democratic Party to one and where you thought these policies are actually ending up hurting people. Yes. Yes, I think illegal immigration at this point, after one year of investigations around the world and making America's forgotten, I think illegal immigration is a really bad idea for anyone, whether you're a migrant or you're an American, I think, it hurts people. It takes lives. It should be stopped, not just dissuaded or discouraged. Yeah. And you said that actually when um, Democrats are on the stage and in one of those primary contests where they said, you know, raise your hands if you agree uh, for coverage and, and benefits for people who are in the U.S. illegally. You said that's actually something that's used by the coyotes who will then take people who often go through horrible situations if they make it uh, to the U.S., that they're actually using those things to show people like, hey, I can get you to America and you'll be fine. Yes. And this was sort of fascinating because uh, some of the folks that I interviewed in the film, my, my contact points in India were a couple of very big journalists from the Hindustan Times and uh, the Indian Express. Your Indian American audiences would know these newspapers. They're the top newspapers in India. And the journalists who are on the beat of illegal immigration are actually in the film. They connected me. They actually connected me with some coyotes from India. They, these are sub agents. It's part of a much larger machine. And... Um, they, I, I said to them, I said, how, so how do you get these people to say yes to fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars per person? That's a lot of money. And literally the day after the the Democratic Party debate, the the thing with everyone holding their hands up for health care, and that was being floated around. And literally, I think the day that I shot with them, they got two people that bought into it and gave them a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Wow. OK, so I want to make sure we get to this uh, before we have to go. But uh, you've had a number of films out. You've advertised on Facebook. Um, you had an understanding that you were going to have this release through Amazon. Some of those things have not happened this time around. What do you make of it? What can you tell us? Um, I think I am um, I am so sad. I think it's a dark day for America. It's one of the things that I've, I've, I've been putting together as a film is censorship in India. Censorship in India with movies is just horrible. I mean, they will make you change the content of your picture if they don't like what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's to that point. China, we know what happens in China with censorship. I never thought, Shannon, I would see a day in America where an Amazon who has greenlit your film for previous Friday puts it back under preview. And I made a lot of noise today. I put it all over the place. I finally just got a text from them that said, we will look into this. But the problem is your opening weekend is your 75% of people yeah. paying attention to your film. In effect, they have killed the movie. I hope not. And I hope enough people can get this out there. But uh, Facebook saying, not letting me advertise at all, saying that this is a political film. The film is not political. The film is on illegal immigration. My previous mm -hmm. film that I made was on LGBTQ rights, probably more political than this. No one seemed to have a problem with that. So I just don't understand what's political about this picture that wasn't about my previous film. Well, it's called America's Forgotten. Keep us updated on what happens with Amazon, Facebook, and others. Um, we reached out to them to try to get some information from their side, too. And uh, we'll share with that with folks when we get it. Namrata, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Shannon.